This video covers the examination of the mouth. The examiner has already washed his hands, introduced himself to the patient and obtained their consent. Examination of the oral cavity requires a headlight and two metal tongue depressors. Please open your mouth. The mouth is open widely and inspection of the oral cavity begins. Please open your mouth nice and wide. You look at the upper teeth and the lower teeth and the buccal sulci on each side are examined. The patient is asked to stick their tongue out to, to one side. Look it over to the left. To allow you to inspect the lateral part of the tongue for tumours or any other abnormalities. Then the opposite side is examined. Put the tongue back in the mouth and now touch it to the left it cheek. It is important to specifically examine the retromolar trigone more posteriorly. Very good. Lift up your chin please and open your mouth really wide. The tongue is then depressed to visualise the hard and soft palates and the posterior pharyngeal wall. The patient is asked to say ah, ah and symmetrical palatal elevation should be noted. Finally, the patient is asked to raise their tongue to the roof of their mouth so the underside of the tongue can be examined along with the floor of the mouth. Moving on to palpation, a gloved finger can be used to feel for abnormalities within the tongue itself. Then a finger placed intraorally can be used to feel for the submandibular ducts, the sublingual glands, and to allow for bimanual palpation of the submandibular glands. The parotid can also be bimanually palpated, and saliva can be expressed through the parotid duct opening seen here. This concludes the examination of the mouth and the oral cavity.